Hello everyone, Wordfire here, and we are going to finally, or finally, as if anybody cared. Uh, Mystery Legends 1, Sleepy Hollow. Pretty sure we have played 2 and 3. I don't, I should probably check this before I start. Hold up. Yes, number 2 was Phantom of the Opera, and number 3 was Beauty and the Beast, which I actually played in Swedish. So now we're going to go back to the first one. It says copyright 2008 down here, so it is definitely an older Hoppa game. So, uh, yeah, Sleepy Hollow seems to be the story of the Headless Knight. I don't know the original. I still don't remember the original Sleepy Hollow story. Someone has probably explained it to me. And I don't remember. Sorry. Oh, I haven't even entered my name yet. Timed game? I don't want to play a timed game. Ew, no. All small towns have their secrets and stories, but none such as Sleepy Hollow, whose legends are most grim and gory. By day, a quaint village full of sunshine and banter. By night, a place haunted by hoofbeats and spectral laughter. The villagers whisper of Hessian and horse that nightly rise. Headless, the horseman mounts his fateful steed, and off they canter on their nightly deed. Ceaselessly for his head he searches, while the townsfolk for his tortured life he curses. Beware lest you cross his path and call upon your head his wrath. For it is your head he will claim as his prize. And where you stand, you will meet your demise. Old Brower. Okay. Nice um, poetry there. Ooh, I like this. This is this is cool. Chapter one. Interesting. Old Brower stumbled through the dark woods, hastening towards home. The forest seemed alive tonight with its gnarled branches, creaking, moaning, and grabbing at him. He fought away from their grasp and sighed in relief as he neared the town's bridge. But suddenly, an unearthly cry shattered the still night air. Could the headless horseman be out tonight? Out to reclaim his lost head? Okay, this doesn't seem to be your traditional Hoppa game. All right. Welcome to Sleepy Hollow. Or, yeah. Click a location on the map to investigate the area and search for clues. When you find enough clues, you will be able to solve the mystery. Okay, so maybe it's just straight up hidden object scenes. Conservatory. Okay, so it's probably a traditional H- so not a hop-up, but a yeah, hidden object puzzle game. That's- I mean, I didn't really- can't English. Was prepared for that. Anyways, finding clues. Search the scene and find all the items listed in your clue list. Mouse over an item in the clue list to see its shape. Oh, the shape is over here. Okay. Alright, yes, yeah, so this is going to be- Click on matching pairs puzzle. Click on two identical objects in the container to remove them. Remove all the matching pairs to complete the scene. So it is a pure puzzle game, which is fine. It's a nice variety. I wouldn't want to play that all the time, but as a variety, it's fine. One match left. Doesn't seem to be any of the butterflies. <laughs> Wait, what? I don't see anything that matches. Oh, here. You have successfully completed the puzzle. Thank you. Hat, coin pouch. I 
light can barely see anything. I do appreciate how things disappear from the scene. Um, mouse trap. There's a map and a menu. Good. There's another one of those. Coin pop. I mean, it's nice that they give us the shape, though, because that can help. Now, everything is kind of the same color, so... Yeah. one of those Ooh. be careful randomly clicking will make it easier for the hessian to find you if you're stuck use a hint by clicking on an item inside the clue list oh no he's gonna come take our head <laughs> I kind of want to try and see if we actually die. <laughs> that would be super funny if the game's just like, nah, you dead. Like, literally dead. <sighs> the coin pouch is probably some like. Blood, bone, and flesh. Okay, sir, could you not do that? Thank you. I know that I'm made of bone and flesh. I do not need you to whisper that in my ear, thanks. Okay, you know what? Fine. I don't even care about the hint or not. Click on an item inside the clues will show its location on the screen. You can earn more hints by finding jack-o'-lanterns located in each scene. Oh. Oh, I have a oh, I have a specific number of hints. Oh, that's not good. Oh, this game is going to take forever, but that's fine. This entire episode is going to be this, like, first scene. <sighs> okay, butterfly. Okay, that one looks like that, apparently. It's sitting on the side. Oh, that- oh, I would not have found that. Are you kidding me? Oh, there's the math compass. Uh, seed packet. Well, that- oh, there. You know what? Oh, there it is. Okay. Great work! You have found all the clues in the scene. Choose another location from the map and continue your investigation. All right, we're done with the conservatory. Here's the kitchen. All right, bread and baskets and cheese and dog, an entire dog. There's a dog. I do need to find a jack-o'-lantern. There it is. Coming. Oh, there was actually an egg up there. I didn't even know that. Fire tongs. Okay, two baskets, fire tongs, bread, colander, sure, ginger, cheese, harvest, wreath, wreath. Okay, 
four clean plates. An egg and a spice chest. Okay. That's bread. That's a basket. Not the basket it's showing me though. Oh, there. Your head belongs to me. No. No, it does not. What is that? Oh, that's the ginger. What shape is that? <laughs> what shape is that? Okay, this does help actually. Okay, so a colander is some sort of... Some sort of thing you can put stuff in. There. Oh, I mean, it just looks like a plate. Surprise! The egg is in something, okay. And the spice chest is just a straight up square. Nice. There it is. Okay, so the egg is in something. I know. Amazing to watch. There's a chicken in the fire. And a plate. Oh, that's bread. I didn't even see that. I thought it was part of the floor. No. Oh, there's the egg. Okay, so the plate. It's a circle. But. There. Great work, you found all the clues. Okay, we're, we're gonna go to the cabin. All right, music sheets. Do we need keys? No. Is that Lincoln? It's actually kind of scary. Uh, okay, music sheet, firewood, neckties. Cup, razor, smoking pipe. Moon, chamber pot. Crutches. Heart buckles. Try to like actually look at the scene. Probably helps. Razor. I didn't even click that, but yes. Okay, one music sheet left. Heart, buckle, smoking pipe, neckties. The music sheet probably just... Oh, that's actually an interesting shape. Where's that happening? Oh, here. Okay. Oh, neckties like this. Okay, okay, okay. That explains why I'm not finding it. The pipe has the shape I thought it was gonna have, yes. Vengeance will be mine. Shut up. Um, do need all the hints we can gather. I keep forgetting about those. The heart is ho- Oh! Duh. And the buckle. Now it's just a smoking pipe left. Yeah, I will say if you really if you're really into like hidden object scenes, like the like this type of puzzle in the south, and you want like a challenge, go to like old 
Hoppa games. Or hogs, I guess, in update games. Go to like the old ones because like they're gonna give you a challenge, as you can see. All right, boathouse. I feel like I'm kind of getting used to the scenes now, so it's getting slightly better, but probably not just because I'm saying it. Oh, broken object puzzle. Click on a broken piece and join it with another. Put all the objects back together to complete the scene. Oh, I see. There are different objects, okay. What is happening? Oh, okay. Oh. Oh, okay. All lanterns assembled. Let's go. There's a hint. Four anchors. I found three. There's four. A pot hook. What does that look like? It looks like that. Okay, interesting. That. Oh no, I have another. Oh, I have an anchor left. Okay. Thought I got four, but I guess not. Oh, there it is. Was there five? I don't know. Candlestick. All right. So that's the shape we're looking for. It's actually pretty nice of them to give us the shape, though. Uh, but you don't have to if you don't want to, but it's like a halfway hint. Nail. Oh, joy. I hope it's ginormous. Oh, fishing hooks. You should not have come here. Shut up, I don't care. I have not asked for your opinion. Headless thing. How do you even speak without a mouth? I know you're supernatural, but still. Um, the nail is not gonna be fun. Okay. Shaving brushes. I have seen that shape over here. And... That's the nail. At an angle there. Paper boat. It's not in the water, I think. Do I need rabbits? No. I need a fork, ship wheel, pipe tamper, and submersive turtle. Okay. Um, paper boat is there. Oh, the ship wheel is that way. Okay. That oh, you have enough clues to discover the fate of old Brower. Would you like to find your remaining clues or solve the mystery? Find all clues. We're so close. I only have two left. There's the fork and the pipe tamper. What am I looking for? Oh, okay. What is that? Interesting. Yes, you have found all the clues in this chapter. You will now be able to discover the fate of old Brower. Your head belongs to me. <laughs> oh, fishing hooks. That is a fishing hook game. Oh, hook. Okay, fine. It's not a hook.
this will work. We can do like one chapter an episode. Could work in it. There's still a lot left. Books and razors. Fishing hook and two razors. Now it's one of each. There's just one fishing hook left. Okay. It's that way. Oh. Old Brower was the town's resident cook. Although no one could say he was easy to spook. But tonight he had ventured too far from home and met the Hessian on his nightly roam. <laughs> oh no. Chapter summary. All right, accuracy, jack o' lanterns found, hints used. Chapter time, 16 minutes. Okay. Tassel. Okay, this is perfect. So we're gonna take a break here and um, yeah, check out Lady Van Tassel uh, next time. So thank you all very much. Very thank you. <laughs> wow, thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see ya.